I think caring about fashion trends can ruin your style and even worse, ruin the way you think of fashion. Look, if you go to the gym, you know what body dysmorphia is. It means the way you look in your head is not how you look in person. You think of yourself very negatively and nowhere near being good enough. The same thing can happen in your style. You can easily think that you don't have enough clothes and feel the need to always be buying the latest fashion trends to make yourself feel better. Not only is this terrible for your mental health, but it's also draining your wallet. So I found the best solution and that is to not care about fashion trends. And what most people fail to realize is how harmful following fashion trends can be. But always searching for the next piece to buy the next big thing that will help them dress better and to help them get the validation they need because that's all it really is most people follow the trends because they want to fit in when in reality it shouldn't be like that at all it should be about finding the pieces you enjoy wearing and all because it suits you the most therefore it's much better for you and your wallet to only look for pieces that you're gonna enjoy wearing not for the sense of validation but for you to be able to look at yourself and say wow this looks good on me. And so look, I just came out of the store and I was looking for a piece, not because it's popular, not because it's trendy, but a piece that I could wear with the clothes that I already have in my wardrobe and a piece that I will love this season. And here I am and I bought one from Hollister. And look, I'll show you the jacket later on in the video, but the point that I'm trying to make and the point that I'm trying to make clear is other people's thoughts should not dictate what you buy and what you wear. Trends come and go. So don't be waiting for what's coming next. Instead, keep a clear mind. Find inspiration and see what interests you. Don't follow something just because it's a fashion trend and you want to fit in and you think this is the only way to get compliments and start dressing better. Getting into men's fashion is much more than that. And I promise you, you don't have to follow fashion trends to be stylish. To prove that, let's go on Instagram. Let's search up Noah Beck to show you that you could look good without following the trends. So scrolling through, he just posted one and look at this, this outfit, it's nothing crazy. It's simple, yet it looks good. In my personal style, I try to follow exactly that. Simple things that look good. And Noah Beck does a really good job of this. The only thing that's kind of trendy is the Adidas Sambas, even though some people think that it's a dead trend. In my opinion, that's the worst way to be thinking about things. As soon as something falls off or it's a dead trend, that you should stop wearing it. I personally never got into Adidas Sambas. I've never liked them for my own style. And therefore, even though they were one of the biggest fashion trends, I never felt like I needed to buy them because I knew even if I did buy them, I probably would have just wasted my money because I wouldn't have worn them. Another person that's a great style inspiration is an actual men's fashion influencer. That's going to be Alex Costa, someone very established in the men's fashion industry. So scrolling down, if you notice, again, not too many trends going on. It's a lot of classic things, yet they still look a lot better than most fashion trends, in my opinion. And if you notice, a lot of his clothing is slim, and there would be a lot of people out there that tell you because it's not baggy, because it's not oversized, that it doesn't look good. And if you think like that, I think this is the next thing you should start doing that is gonna be thinking for yourself. I see this way too many times. People are just a yes man to whatever is going on. If the internet likes soccer shirts, then all of a sudden, they start wearing soccer shirts. Again, there's nothing wrong with it. If it catches your attention, if you think it fits into your own style, and start wearing it. But just because everybody else is, is not a good enough reason for you to start wearing it. Or another great way to do it is by seeing it, letting it catch your interest and experiment to see if you like it. That is completely different from being a yes man. Now look, the main way to spot a yes man is to wait until the hype dies down and see if they are still wearing it. All the people that were buying Adidas Sambas, let's see how many of those people are still wearing it in six months or even around this time right now where some people think that the Adidas Sambas are just too played out. With the New Balance 550s, I think this is a great sneaker and I found out about them because they were a good trend going on. And to this day, I'm still wearing it despite a lot of people saying that they're a dead trend. But all the yes men and all the people who only like the New Balance 550s because other people like them, they stopped wearing it and they started talking poorly about people's outfits that are still wearing these trends or dead trends, I guess. And look, honestly, that's the most annoying thing in my opinion. People who hate on other people's outfits because it's a dead trend or it's something that's just a little too played out. I saw this a lot with something like Converse CDGs or Yeezys or all these things. And the most annoying thing that I hated the most was the fact that when I was younger, I really wanted to try CDGs. I wanted to try a lot of these fashion trends, but I didn't have the money. Even though the hype started to die down, I still wanted to try them because they still interested me. And so I bought them. Granted, I bought them after the trend. I heard a lot of people saying that I was stuck in the past. Don't let that affect you. The people saying that are just yes men. And chances are they probably can't think for themselves. But don't let that be you. Think for yourself, wear only the things that you like and you enjoy. And I promise you what other people have to say doesn't matter. All right, now it's time to show you what I got from Hollister. Probably one of my new favorite jackets. That is gonna be more of a workwear jacket, but before I put it on, I'm gonna switch the bottom piece because it's not gonna look good with this. And look at this workwear jacket. So it's more of like an off-white color, not fully white. But what I love is the brown corduroy lining on the collar. This one is a size small, so I did size down. I'm 5'8", and so the small fit me best. And I'm glad I bought this one because look, 
workwear was a big trend mostly last year and although it's not as popular as it once was some people still wear it and this is a workwear jacket now i didn't get it because it's a trend or better yet was a trend i've seen jackets like this before and i've always wanted one so what did i do i got one for myself now typically the most famous one was from abercrombie this one is from hollister but nonetheless a great pickup like i said i'm gonna be wearing it a lot throughout the fall the link's gonna be in the description in case you wanted to pick one up again going back to slim clothing i still wear slim clothing but I hear some people say that my outfit's whack because I don't have slim clothing. It's mostly the people that say, you don't have drip. Honestly, now, every time I hear that word, the thing I think of most is TikTok fashion. And honestly, that's exactly what ended up happening was that as the rise of TikTok fashion became a thing, people started wearing these outfits that in my opinion, I didn't like, but I still respected them because that was their own style. And as long as they like it, then I am not gonna hate on somebody who's happy with their pieces. But let's be real, that community can be very toxic. And that's exactly what they would do. Hate on other people for not liking their outfits. Look, don't be one of those guys. Again, if you go on TikTok fashion and you like some of these outfits, then cool, wear that. The one time I'll ever have an issue is if you're hating on other people for wearing the pieces that they enjoy. I would say one thing that I do like about TikTok fashion is a lot of these things are micro trends. So even though they're not huge trends that everybody's wearing, there's still a lot of micro trends out there. Things that are popular on social media that are not quite mainstream. I would say things like Amy Leon Door, Ami Paris. These two brands are good examples of micro trends. Let's look through their websites because I've been wanting to check out this brand for a while now. And let me know if you want to see a video of me trying out brands like this. They're very popular in men's fashion and I think it's for good reason. These are stuff that you don't typically see that much and things that I've always wanted to experiment with. Now, of course, I'm looking mostly for fall pieces. For example, these two sweaters are something I would definitely like to try. Or another example would be rugby's. I'm a big fan of these and I definitely want to start wearing more of these. And lastly, these quarter zips definitely caught my attention. So let me know if you think I should try them. They're a little bit pricey, but I'm definitely down to try it. And lastly, Ami Paris. I've been wanting to try this brand for a while. In fact, I've checked it out in person and I love the quality. So this fall, I'm definitely going all in and trying this brand. Again, a little bit more expensive, but based off the quality that I felt, it should be well worth it. Now, I'm mostly looking at these sweaters, but one thing that's definitely catching my eye as well are these cardigans. So let me know which one you think I should try. They're popular, but they're not fully out there where you will go on the street and see everybody wearing them. Micro brands are going to be my bread and butter for finding out new pieces, finding out new brands, finding out new styles that I can experiment and see if I like wearing these things as much as I think I would. I'm going to be shopping a lot at Ami Paris and Amy Leon Door. Granted, they're a little bit more expensive, but don't worry, I'll definitely let you know if they're worth the money. That being said, there are some cool fashion trends that I will probably experiment with eventually. But for the time being, the thing that I prefer the most of is timeless pieces. Things I could buy this season, and I won't have to worry about them dying out and just tossing them away. Because the pieces that I bought last year in the fall, I could still wear this fall. And the things that I'm buying this fall, I'll probably be able to wear next year as well. And that's the beauty of timeless pieces that never go out of style. You're not wearing it because of the hype, you're wearing it because you enjoy it. That being said, trends are cool, but the thing that's most important is the foundation. And if you wanna know exactly what I would buy if I was just starting my wardrobe, I have a video that's gonna show you exactly that. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one.